Hi and welcome back to this new video tutorial of Udu. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out Udu mobile application for the Android and iOS devices. So if you're already having a web store that's based on Udu there and you want to have a mobile application for the same that can be used on the Android and iOS devices, then you can make use of our uh, what we say as the mobile applications that we have created that are based on the Flutter technology and uh, are using the stack as Xcode there. So what we have done is that uh, we have basically created a demo uh, mobile application for the Android and the iOS devices and those applications can be accessed by you by downloading them on your uh, Android devices or the iOS devices from the uh, Google Play Store or from the Apple Play Store there and then you can check out the particular mobile application usage and the functionality there on your devices uh, thereafter. So if you want to have a mobile application for your Udo platform based uh, website there, then we can build uh, the same for you as per your own requirement there. You just need to provide us with your requirements uh, there and thereafter we'll be providing the particular mobile app thereafter. So in today's particular video, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be checking out the Udo mobile application for the Android devices and I'll taking you through the particular workflow at the uh, Android device and after the successful installation of the particular mobile app from the Google Play Store, I'll be showing you how we can open the particular app and how we can access the products, how we can check the homepage there, how we can proceed to the checkout there. Apart from that, we'll also be seeing uh, after the login there, how the customers would be able to access the different account panel options within the Udo mobile application there. In the coming video, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you through the workflow in the Udo backend where I'll be showing you what different configurations are there in the admin backend panel, wherein you'll be able to set up the banners, featured categories, uh, uh, what we say as the product carousals and uh, the rest of the configurations there in the Udo backend there. So for now, in today's video tutorial, we'll just be checking out the uh, demo application that we have already created for the Udo platform based websites there that can be used by your customers to access your Udo web store there. So for the same, let's hop on to the mobile end and let's see the workflow thereafter. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So now let me take you to the mobile end there and let's check the workflow of this uh, Udo mobile application for the Android devices there. So right now on your screens, you can see that I have my Android device and I've already downloaded the big cool uh, Udo mobile application there on my Android device. To open the same, I just need to tap on the mobile application and the very first thing that you can see was the splash screen there. And right now we can see the uh, home page of the mobile application itself. Now this will uh, uh, take a bit of time there for the uh, images to load because my internet connectivity is kind of low there. So right now you can see that uh, at the very top we have the featured categories and uh, if I scroll here uh, on these banners, let's go. The banners are basically being loaded. So at the very top, we have the featured categories and we can access these featured categories uh, as a customer there or as a user there and we can access any of the categories as per our requirement there. Then we have these banners that you can see here. These banners are there. Uh, let me scroll between these banners here. So we have these banners are uh, being uh, set up within the mobile application and then we have the product carousals uh, that you can see like the discounted discount for you as you can see here we can uh, basically uh, scroll uh, between the different uh, items that we have added within the product carousal there similarly we have created a new product carousal and we have added a few products within that and here we have the view all option as well on the right hand side then we have the deals of the day. This is also a product carousal there. So these are uh, the particular sections that we've added within the Udo mobile application there. So at the very top, if we see, uh, we have the featured categories. Then we have the banners, as you can see. Now we can tap on any banner and we'll be uh, redirected to a particular category. Uh, the uh, other categories that are available, all the different options that are available in the configuration settings of the Udo there. As per the requirement there, we will be redirected to a particular product or to a collection or to a particular category there as per the requirement after we have tapped on the particular banner there itself. Then we have the product carousals 
and coming down then in the last we have the back to top option if i tap on that we'll be again taken to the top there so if i tap here on the accessories featured category so let's tap on that uh, we'll be able to see the particular products within this particular category and they'll be listed here as you can see they are being loaded right now so the products are there and the subcategories within the accessories are also visible like the bags glasses and jewelry are there now let's go back and for example if i tap on any one of the banners here for example if i tap on the men banner we are taken to a particular collection section as you can see and the particular products are being displayed within that uh, link for that particular banner itself and then we have the product carousels as we have already seen and uh, on the uh, bottom uh, end you can see that we are on the home page then we have the categories then we have the cart and then we have the profile if i go to the categories there we'll be able to see the complete listing of the categories within the udu web store there and it depends upon what exactly what uh, different categories that you want to display on the mobile application end there you have to select those categories and accordingly those uh, categories would be synced with the mobile application there itself now here you can see that we are on under the uh, furnitures and under furniture we have desks, chairs couches boxes etc and here we can see the products that are within the uh, particular ones as well if i scroll between these sections here under the products and uh, under the products here we also have the view uh, all option as you can see this one and if i go to any other uh, category like accessories i'll be able to see the subcategories and the products within the same as you can see and from here if i tap on the web all i'll be able to see the complete listing of the products there within that particular category now coming to the cart section right now we are not logged in so i'll just tap here on the cancel button we'll be again taken back to the home page there and coming down to the profile section here you can see that we have the sign in option languages and settings now under the sign in option you'll be able to sign into the mobile application there and uh, under the languages you'll be able to change the language of the mobile application there now can you know that this particular mobile application supports both the left to right and the right to left languages there so for example if i ch uh, choose arabic or the syrian arabic language there uh, the particular store has completely changed as you can see here if i close this out the sign in uh, option here you'll see that uh, everything here is in arabic language right the product details as you can see the product names etc uh, the uh, mobile application options everything is in the uh, arabic language now for example if i tap here uh, on this particular section or the home page here uh, or the profile one then we again have the language chooser option and uh, let's choose english as the language once again and we are taken to the sign in page there now let's uh, see one of the particular pr products there and let's purchase a product but before that let me go to the profile section and let me tap here on the sign in option to sign into the mobile application there so uh, you will be able to sign in with your email or you can also create an account by tapping on the create an account button then you need to enter your email address name password you have to confirm your password you have to accept the terms and conditions and then you can create an account Otherwise, you can tap on the sign in option and if you're already registered on the Udu web store there, then you'll be able to directly log into the mobile application using the same. So you have to enter your email address, password and you have to tap here on the sign in button thereafter. Now, after you've logged in successfully, you saw that particular pop up message as well. Then if you want, you can set these credentials for your fingerprint login as well. So for now, I'll just tap here on the cancel button for the same. And now if we go to the profile section here you can see that uh, i'm not added any image for the profile there uh, first of all we have the dashboard if i tap on the dashboard uh, then you can see that we have the account recent orders and we have the address section so under account we can uh, edit the contact information of the customer there under recent orders we can see the complete list of orders that we have placed we can view the details and we can give the reviews to the orders as well Apart from that, we have the addresses as well, wherein uh, we can uh, change our default billing address or we can edit the default shipping address as well. And if you want to add uh, or manage more addresses, then we can tap here on the manage address at the bottom there. And then we'll be able to add a new address as per our own requirement there. Now let's go back and uh, under the account, if I tap here on the edit option, then you'll be able to change your password. You can deactivate your account temporarily by tapping on the deactivate option. You can deactivate permanent uh, your uh, account there 
or you can also uh, basically delete your complete account by tapping on the delete account option button there. Then on the recent orders, if I go to the recent orders, I can tap here on the details option and the details of the complete order would be displayed uh, to the customer as you can see along with the uh, pricing and the uh, shipping and the uh, payment information there. Now let's go back. If I want to give a particular review on a particular uh, order that I had placed and I can tap on the reviews option and this would take us to the uh, section where we can give the ratings and we can uh, type in the uh, review title and your uh, review and then we can tap on the submit button to submit the same and lastly we have the address section so if i tap here on the billing address here the particular billing address would be uh, set up and we can make the changes within the same as for the requirement the itself and if you want you can also make use of the uh, google maps here uh, to uh, uh, basically, uh, they'll be using the location permission to fetch the user's current location and you can tap here on the OK for example, only this time and then I tap here on the Google pin once again, I tap here on the OK button and uh, we'll be able to see the particular location on the Google Maps itself. So right now, as I've told you already, my internet is kind of uh, slow there so it will take some time there for the particular thing to pop up. Now let's come back. Then we have the account info. The same things are there under the account info. Then we have the address book. Under the address book, we have the different sections uh, where you can see your default billing address, default shipping address, other addresses. You can edit and delete the other addresses as per your own requirement. Under all orders, you'll find the complete list of orders that you have placed with their details, and you can give the reviews for the same as well. Then we have the my wish list. Here you'll find the complete list of products that you've added into your wish list that you want to purchase at a later point in time. All of those products would be visible under this particular section as you can see. And from here you can move them to the cart or you can remove them by tapping on the X icon on the top right hand corner of the products there itself. Then we have the languages we've already seen that. Then we have the settings. Under the settings, you can enable the notifications. You can choose to have the dark mode within the uh, application itself. And you can check the privacy policy as well as for the requirement there. Uh, and you can also manage the in-device settings by tapping on the manage in-device settings button at the bottom end there. And lastly, uh, we have the sign, in, uh, sign out option there. Now let's purchase one product from the storefront there. So let's purchase this product one. But before I go to this particular thing here, I want to show you how you'll be able to search the products within the store there using the mobile application. So if I tap here on the search icon on the top end, uh, I'll type, type OK here and I can search the product by entering the name of the product. The product has been searched or I can search it using the voice as well. So if I tap here on the voice icon product. You can see that the product has been automatically entered there and the product has been uh, searched. Now let me give you one example uh, there. So I'll just bring out my laptop here uh, to demonstrate to you how we can search using the text and the image as well. So in the uh, case of uh, if we are doing it using the, uh, the text thing here, you can see a camera icon is there. So if I tap on the camera icon, you can see that we have this search by scanning text or by scanning the image. So if I go with the search with uh, scanning the text here, uh, we have to give the access to the camera there. Tap on the text. So you can see that it has read the product word there. Now if I tap on the product word, the particular product would be searched out, right? So just give me a second for that. So here you can see that uh, the product has been searched and in a similar fashion what you can do is you can go with the image search. You have to search the image. You can see that it's uh, reading the image as shoe, desk, musical instrument, instrument, bumper, denim, standing, jacket, wheel, etc. So that way you'll also be able to uh, basically uh, search the products within the store there. Uh, so we have implemented this within the application there itself. So now let's go to the product. That's the product one. And uh, let me, uh, we can add it to the wishlist as well by tapping it on the wishlist icon. Or if we want, we can share it uh, as well. If I tap on the share, we'll be able to share it on the uh, WhatsApp as well or the other platforms that are available within your device functionality there. Here you can uh, increase the quantity. 
you can add it to the cart or you can directly go to the uh, checkout there by tapping on the buy now button you can check the reviews as well and you can check the details of the product as well if any entered by the uh, seller there so if i tap here on the buy now button we'll be directly redirected to the uh, checkout page uh, where we have to uh, select the uh, details so here you can see that uh, everything has been uh, selected here we just need to tap here on the proceed button now we'll be selecting the shipping method there and after we have selected the shipping method uh, here we'll tap on the proceed option then on the review and payment section we have to select the particular payment method so here we are seeing that we are able to see the wire transfer being available right now uh, that's the uh, COD type of payment method for this one and then we'll tap here on the place order button to place the particular order so you can see that the order has been placed successfully and we can tap here on the continue shopping now if I want to check this particular order I can go to the profile section and all orders and here I'll find uh, hash s00122 that's the particular one I can tap on the details uh, option there and this is the product that we have purchased and here if I want I can give a review, right, a review to this particular product as well uh, along with the ratings as well so this was the particular functionality of the uh, Udo mobile application for the Android devices and I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding how this application basically uh, gives you an opportunity to provide uh, your customers with the mobile application for your Udo website there and they can access your Udo website there on the go using their mobile devices and that too on the go there. So if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding this particular mobile application, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.